is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here for the 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network Market Update on this uh, 3rd, Wednesday the 3rd of August, uh, one week to go before I do my uh, all-day webinar. This is a very interesting, up 178 points at 32,574. My thinking was that today would be an inside day, forming that peak D in the Chapman Wave methodology. Remember, we've been talking about this for weeks, that we were expecting at least four higher peaks in a buy mode, which takes you to D, and then other things can happen. You have to reassess. Uh, don't have to make any changes. You can become a little cautious, and that's kind of what we did. We're looking at the S&P, and this is very interesting. I have an alternate count that the S&P, if you use the Chapman Wave Phantom Peak, could have made a D. But we'll call it a peak C for now because it's holding really well. It's up 30 at 41.22. In fact, while Caterpillar was really decimating the Dow yesterday, the S&P held very nicely when you think about it. When you look at the QQQ, uh, this is the NDX 100 trading vehicle. This is the, here we go. This is the Invesco QQQ Trust Series. Up, made a new recovery high. It's at a leg E at 318.51. It's done the left side, right side, price, time match. These are techniques that I'll be teaching in that webinar. We're looking at um, breaking out above the 314 support, and that's going to be 1314 to 1312 over the next three, four days as key support. And it's trying to tackle the weekly Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, which gets you to about the 323 area. We're looking also at IWM. Small caps are acting quite nicely here, up to 121 at 188.32, still a leg D at this particular point. Now, this is going to be very interesting. Gold is having a little digestive phase after a very strong move from under 1,700 to over 1,800, now trading at 1,776, down 13 points. You can expect that because the dollar has shown some residual strength here. I still think the dollar is in a corrective, short-term corrective phase. Um, and that means that uh, up a penny at 106.35, uh, uh, 0.01, uh, one tick. That's going to be very important. What happens? Can it get to the 107.50 area? The TLT trading right now down 25 means that yields are actually climbing a little bit. And we're talking about crude oil. I'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Technicians Hour. I hope you can stay. It should be a really interesting program. Got a lot to cover. And uh, check out all the programs here at TFNet. And my news that is the opening call. See you.